the uh, first five days, uh, Russian forces, I think, frankly, were too gentle. Uh, they've now corrected that. So I would say another 10 days, this should be completely over. But the question is, uh, what is it that Zelensky is going to do? The Russians have made it very clear what they want is a neutral Ukraine. This could have ended days ago if he accepted that. And then they can adjust the borders. But the eastern part of Ukraine is firmly in Russian hands. But again, the Russians are not seizing territory. They're destroying Ukrainian forces. That's their focus. Colonel, it sounds like you don't approve of Zelensky's stand. Oh, I think Zelensky is a puppet. Uh, and he is putting huge numbers of his own population at unnecessary risk. And uh, quite frankly, most of what comes out of Ukraine is debunked as lies within 24 to 48 hours. The notions well, of taking and retaking airfields, all of this is nonsense. It hasn't happened. He's not a, a hero when he's standing up for himself and his own <laughs> people? You don't think he's a hero? No, I, I do not. I don't see anything heroic about the man. And I think the most heroic thing that he can do right now is to come to terms with reality. Neutralize Ukraine. <clears throat> this is not a bad thing. A neutral Ukraine would be good for us as well as for Russia. It would create the buffer that, frankly, both sides want. But he's, I think, being told to hang on and, and try to drag this out, which is tragic for the people that have to live through this. I'm inclined to disagree with you, Colonel, but, um, you know, how do you see how this works out. Colonel Douglas McGregor, tough guy. Thanks for being with us, sir. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.